Bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome all <coughs> guys, distinguished. I would like an ask an apologies. My schedule will be here together with uh, Ibu Aida, but I have another task. So let me give some remarks for this important meeting. As we know, as we aware that Indonesia forest is very important for us. By laws, it is not only for economic development, but also for conservation and protection. Based on the sustainability of the landscape also, you know, what we are talking about also is very important for us, not only to protect trees, but also to support people like food and guarantee food security, food, water, and energy security. This objective cannot be separated from its other. The landscape will not be productive unless it it is healthy and environmentally protected. That is the fact. So, a healthy, protected, and productive landscape is essential for economic well-being of the people and our well-being as a country. Of course, deforestation, the degradation of forest and peatland and forest fire threaten the health and productivity, productivities of our forest. This trend must be stopped. We ask the government are dependent to see this, especially for the local government and the enterprise. Work together how to stop the forest fire. President recently announced that Indonesia now moratorium for palm oil and Manning, following the uh, uh, moratorium for the uh, virgin forest and peatland in the previous government. Effort to support local community to find alternative livelihood options that are not dependent on the, de on the deforestation, deforestation are key, such as Asia Pope Paper recently launched. It. The government just launched run just launched allocated around 12.7 million hectares for social forestry. What it means for us, it is also the way to solve the conflict resolution in terms of forest tenure. Also for assurance for the investment, especially in uh, food, water, and energy uh, renewable in the forest. We also recognize that slash and burn, agriculture and social conflict are both major cause of landscape degradation. We are working with private sector, civil society, academician, and other stakeholders to improve our land tenure system and to provide clear map of our landscape to ensure there is no more conflicts of ownership. These are my challenges, and one that will require time and a significant amount of political we to overcome. But we are determined as a government, we are committed to talk to tackling all of our most challenging problems face on, whether that is the need for investment in infrastructure, then that the damaging impact of illegal and unregulated facing in our waters or the forest fire that drove us off our landscape and our economy last year. As the leading economy in our region and one of the world's largest forest country, we are determined not, not to let ourselves down or the international community. Indonesia is a unique country, habitat, 250 million people, over thousands of islands, incredible natural resources, a stubborn democracy, and much more. We have shown the world over the past in the world. Our forest has played important, an important role in the story and have an even more crucial role 
to play in our future as well we build an economic <coughs> underpinned by sustainable practice boosting green growth. This journey is ours is one which by means to complete but the cost is set and cannot be reversed. I thank you.